today I'm going to be ranking 11 movies that affected me, myself, and I the most. Over 100 controversial or horror movies watched. Comment down below what movie you can never watch again. But these are the 11 movies that affected me the most, gave me the ick, or made me cry. Starting with number 11, Bedeviled. Bedeviled is about Bok Nam who wishes to escape from this secluded regressive island, abused by everyone around her. She asks her old friend Hei Wan, I spit on Hei Wan's. That lady ran away letting her friend lose her daughter, and then was Pikachu face when homegirl lost her mind and slaughtered everyone. This movie affected me because the actress that played Bok Nam killed her role. She was so bubbly and sweet, despite living years with a man who beat and assaulted her and her daughter. But then there is no Number 10, Antichrist. The movie affected me because I was not ready for the genital mutilation. A couple retreat into a fearful forest to cope with the death of their son, and the wife is coping violently. There's genital mutilation involving crushing the husband's banana and pumping it to receive a blood syrup surprise, and then she cuts off her own bean as punishment. Just those scenes alone affected me very much. It sticks with you years after watching it, but really, it's just those scenes that affected me more in the story itself. The Bunny Game. The Bunny Game is one of the first films I watched for the channel, showing a prostitute who already had a horrible life, only to get kidnapped to be in a sick game with a truck driver. I still remember the screams the actress delivered. They disturbed me to this day. The black and white leaves you dreadful and empty, and you watch a lady lose everything. But what disgusted me even more was when I downloaded this film. I must have downloaded a virus or malware on my computer because I couldn't use it anymore. So I had to buy a whole new computer because of this stupid virus. That wouldn't happen if I had NordVPN. Today's video is sponsored by NordVPN and I've been using it for years now. Yes, you really need a VPN because everyone's privacy is at stake. NordVPN gives you a new IP and connects you to one of various different servers, so nobody can spy on you and steal your private information. But NordVPN also has threat protection, protecting you from viruses and malware instantly. Hey, you heard about some states saying you can't visit adult sites without having to verify your age by having to share your ID or take a picture for the camera? What? NordVPN will help you get right past that and protect you from viruses along with blocking ads with their ad block. Yep, that's you right there, protected on the internet yet connected to the internet just like the founding fathers intended. You're protected from people stealing your secrets, blocking your access to sites, and from accessing terrible viruses. And if you go to NordVPN.com slash spooky rice, you get a huge discount off of two year plan plus four months free 30 day money back guarantee it's norvpn.com slash spooky rice where you get a huge discount off a two year plan plus four months free thanks to norvpn for sponsoring today's video back to couples therapy we got number eight cutting moments cutting moments is probably top three most disturbing short films yeah i remember aftermath and the strange thing about the johnsons cutting moments feels like a junji ito story of tone a wife itching for her husband's attention he just ignores her and she uses scissors to slice her face up worse than any zombie. He realizes he ignored her and they both have this self-destructive coitus that ends in their gory death. This was the third disturbing thing I ever watched and those end credits really shook me. The ambiance, the photographs of the police discovering the bodies, the movie was so far in another world but the ending brought me right back to my reality and that being my third film really ruffled my feathers. But nothing ruffled my feathers like number seven, Silo. Silo is probably top two for some when it comes to this extreme film category. I actually watched this back to back with a Serbian film. Salo was hopeless. It's a film based on the 120 Days of Sodom by Marquis de Sada, where these four crazy guys subject teenagers to months of sadistic fetish and psychological torture. The movie didn't affect me too much, but I'll always remember when one of the characters has to eat poop. Well, all of them do, but especially one girl, and then the ending where everyone dies anyway. It affected me because it really disturbed me how twisted people can be. But golly, here we go with number six, Woman's Flesh, My Red Guts. In Woman's Flesh, you see two ladies tear themselves apart in sexual, cannibalistic fashion. One girl loses her boyfriend and decides to end it all as bloody as possible in a bathroom. Another girl, played by the same actress, is literally too far gone to explain, eating her own guts. It's a gross movie, but even after the movie, you see a trailer for a death documentary showing the results of car accidents and murders. It comes out of nowhere with
with a creepy song playing, so you can imagine me being a little shell-shocked watching this at 12 in the morning. So Woman's Flesh's entire movie and the unexpected real-life gore slideshow at the end tore me up. Number 5 though, I Spit on Your Grave, the first disturbing movie I ever watched. Jennifer Hills is assaulted and she kills everyone who had a hand in it. The essay scene in this movie is tough to watch. It goes on for a while seeing how one day just instantly became traumatic, and I know it was hard to even be in that acting position. Just the fact that I can see the frame of it in my head and talking about it right now is enough to know how much it affected me. But number four, a Serbian film is even nuttier. Oh, you were expecting to see this number one or something? But I just think it's a little overrated. However, the baby scene sticks like glue. The movie is about a retired adult video star returning to work with someone quite terrible. And that director shows him a newborn being in one of the videos. It's extremely bothering to see this newborn scene. I remember the screams and sounds to this day. I'd like to forget it. And that nauseating feeling sticks with me even four years later. But number three, No Child of Mine had me bawling. Yeah, we go from a Serbian film to a TV movie. No Child of Mine is about a girl named Carrie, which is a nice name, who is failed by everybody. Her parents abuse her and pimp her out. Even social workers at a care home abuse her. But what really stayed with me and damn near made me cry was a scene where she calls a hotline for children that need help. You don't have to say your name. The woman on the other end knew that it was difficult for her to speak, but Carrie manages to say, Help me. That made me have to pause the movie for a few hours. But this scene in No Child of Mine, it really stuck with me. And I'm glad the movie had a happy ending. Oh, you thought we were done with the sad stuff? Nope. Because number two is Concrete. Concrete is a film based on the crime that took Junko Furuta away. It actually gives us lore on the characters who committed the crime, how they randomly kidnap girls to hurt them, and it just really hurts how Junko was chosen by this group at random. The abuse she suffers was so tough to watch, yet still, nothing compared to how it was in real life. The movie messed me up so bad that I had a moment of silence in my video on it. Never done that kind of thing before, but I won't ever forget it. And yet, number one is probably my pick for a movie that affected me the most. Maybe the most disturbing experience I've had watching movies for the channel, and that is Irreversible. Irreversible isn't the most extreme film, but that corridor hallway scene was too much for me. One of the main characters gets horrifically assaulted, and it's just too much to watch. I have to look away at this anime poster because it was just too much to look at or to listen to or to read what this person is saying. Tears welled up in my eyes having to endure this scene. And then the movie ended with no good resolution at all. You feel so drained after the end and that's why Irreversible might be the hardest film I had to watch and it affected me the most. Click the like button if you enjoyed and subscribe to see more Spooky Rice. Spooky out!